Welcome to the APA Guidelines Explained, a series of instructional videos on the referencing according to the APA citation style. In this video, I'll explain how you reference an image. When you include an image in your report, its reference will be slightly different to that for a written text. Several different factors determine how you should reference. First, consider how you'll use the image. Only as an illustration or will you actually refer to it within your text? Did you use an image only as an illustration, for example a beautiful picture on the cover of your report? In this example, do not include an in-text citation and do not number or title the image. If you use one of your own images, such as a picture or drawing, you don't need to include a reference. This also applies to an image made by a friend or colleague, but as yet unpublished. Of course, it's quite alright to include a thank you in the preface when you were permitted to use an image. If you use the logo of your school or place of work, you also don't need to include a reference. So, when in fact do you include a reference? If you use an existing image, for example one found on the internet, referencing its source is required. Below the image include the name of the author or organization and the year of publication, or ND, for no date, if this was omitted. After this, refer to the copyright. The creator of this picture has stated on the webpage that it may be reused by means of the Creative Commons license. This replaces the standard reference to copyright. Do you wish to know more about copyright and licenses? Check out the instructional video Copyright, Creative Commons or in the public domain. In the reference list, include the source as you would also do when using any other source. In this example, a picture of a hot air balloon was picked from the website Flickr. The addition, photographed between square brackets, isn't required, but would make clear that you only use the image from this webpage. Did you use an image within your text? In this case, provide it with additional information. First, determine whether the image is a table or a figure. A table always contains information that is arranged in columns and rows. All other images, such as diagrams, graphs, pictures and illustrations, are figures. Refer to the table or figure within the text, for example like this. See table 1, between brackets, or figure 2 shows that. Don't state in the table below or figure on the next page shows that. Above the image, in bold, type table or figure, beginning with a capital letter, include its number, followed by a blank line, and after this the title of the image, in italics. If you yourself are the creator of the table or figure, you don't need to reference it. Would you like to add an explanation? In this case, state note, in italics, followed by a full stop in your additional text below the image. You can use a smaller font if you like. Let's look at another example. In this case, a table from page 5 of the book Just Enough R. This book was written by Richard Roiger and published by CRC Press. Now number the table and refer to the table including its number within the text. Above the table, in bold, the word table appears with the number followed by a blank line and the title in italics. Start the caption with note in italics followed by from. Then state the details of the book, the main title, the page number, the author, the year of publication, and the name of the publisher. After this description, refer to the copyright of the image. In this example, the publisher, Taylor & Francis Group, is the copyright owner. Should the copyright ownership be unclear, state copyright and the unknown. In other words, you'll always refer to the copyright. Include the book reference in the reference list. The second example is of the Seven Habits diagram, retrieved from a web page. Just as in case of a table, number the figure. Refer to the figure including its number within the text. Then, above the figure, in bold, type figure and the number plus title in italics. Don't forget the blank line. Here again start the caption with note, in italics, followed by from. Then, state the details of the web page, the main title, the author, 
the year of publication and the URL in brackets. The owner of the webpage, publishing company Franklin Covey Education, is also the copyright holder of the image. Finally, include the webpage reference in the reference list. This is the page where you found the image. The addition, diagram between square brackets, isn't required but would make clear that you only use the image from this webpage. Obviously, there are many more sources featuring figures and tables. To find more examples, check out the APA LibGuide from Hansa University of Applied Sciences or the APA LibGuide from your own university. Good luck!